rise to thee. Holy, 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 merciful and mighty, God in three persons, blessed Trinity. Holy, 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 all the saints adore thee, casting down their golden crowns around the glassy sea. Cherubim and seraphim falling down before thee, which wert at heart and evermore shall be. Holy, 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 though the darkness hide thee, though the eye made bright by sin thy glory may not see. Only thou art holy, there is none beside thee, perfect in power, in love and purity. Good morning. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. My brothers and sisters, I want to welcome all of you here to Holy Cross Church. And we come here for various reasons. Some are part of the new configuration of parishes. Some are old time Holy Cross people. Some uh, like me and are here this morning. Uh, So whatever reason brought us here, uh, let us stand before the Lord recognizing that uh, he is the one who gives to whom we give praise and glory. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, Peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand, the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. 
with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who show the light of your truth to those who go astray, so that they may return to the right path. Give all who, for the faith they profess, are accounted Christians, the grace to reject whatever is contrary to the name of Christ, and to strive after all that does it honor. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Please be seated. And as is, as is my custom, I like to give a little introduction to the readings. Our first reading is from Isaiah. Very brief, very beautiful, and speaks a truth that we're very familiar with. Just as the rain and the snow fall from the heavens and produce green and fertility among, on the earth, so too does the word of God planted in our midst, and God expects a response. Now these days, a few weeks ago, everything was turning brown because everything was so dry, and we witnessed the miracle, every, everything turning green and lush and fertile with a little bit of rain. So is God's word. Our second reading, Paul to the Romans, and uh, as is his way, he gets a little complicated at times. Uh, here he's talking about... Uh, bearing with the sufferings that we know in this present age, but keeping in mind that we are destined for greater. We are destined for the things of heaven. And our gospel reading is a, is a parable. And it's a, as a parable, as you know, is a, is a story designed to communicate basically one point. And there are, we could use the short form today or the long form. I'm using the short form but the long form contains Jesus' interpretation of the parable. Usually when Jesus gives a parable, it's a parable, nothing more. This is one of the few times he gives uh, an interpretation, and I will follow with his interpretation in the homily. A reading from the book of Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, just as from the heavens the rain and snow come down and do not return there till they have watered the earth, making it fertile and fruitful, giving seed to the one who sows and bread to the one who eats, so shall my word be that what goes forth from my mouth my word shall not return to me void, but shall do my will, achieving the end for which I sent it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. that falls on good ground will yield a fruitful harvest. You have visited the land and watered it. Greatly have you enriched it. God's water courses are filled. You have prepared the grain. The seed that falls on good ground will yield a fruitful harvest. Thus have you prepared the land, drenching its furrows, breaking up its clods. 
softening it with showers, blessing its yield. The seed that falls on good ground will yield a fruitful harvest. You have crowned the year with your bounty, and your paths overflow with a rich harvest. The untilled meadows overflow with it, and rejoicing clothes the hills. The, the seed, seed that, that falls on good, good ground will yield a fruitful harvest. The fields are garmented with flocks, and the valleys blanketed with grain. They shout and sing for joy. The, the seed that falls on good ground will yield a fruitful harvest. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, I consider that the sufferings of this present time are as nothing compared with the glory to be revealed for us. For creation awaits with eager expectation the revelation of the children of God. For creation was made subject to futility, not of its own accord, but because of the one who subjected it in hope that creation itself would be set free from slavery to corruption and share in the glorious freedom of the children of God. We know that all creation is groaning in labor pains even until now. And not only that, but we ourselves, who have the first fruits of the Spirit, we also groan within ourselves as we wait for adoption, the redemption of our bodies. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the Lord bless you so that you may worthily and well proclaim his holy gospel, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Thus it is the word of God, Christ is the sower. All who come to him will have life forever. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. On that day, Jesus went out of the house and sat down by the sea. Such large crowds gathered around him that he got into a boat and sat down, and the whole crowd stood along the shore. And he spoke to them at length in parables, saying, a sower went out to sow, and as he sowed, some seed fell on the path, and birds came and ate it up. Some fell on rocky ground, where it had little soil. It sprang up at once, because the soil was not deep, and when the sun rose, it was scorched, and it withered for lack of roots. Some seed fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked it. But some seed fell on rich soil and produced fruit a hundred or sixty or thirty-fold. 
Whoever has ears ought to hear the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Last winter, I started to think about what does it mean to celebrate your 50th anniversary? That's certainly a significant moment in, in marriages, uh, in uh, business, uh, and uh, in, in priesthood. And I thought, how do I want to celebrate? And, and I wasn't looking for a, a, a really big celebration all in one day. Uh, a priest friend of mine, and he is the humblest man on earth, but what he did is he had an ice cream social for 1,500 people at a, a big hall in Wayne, Nebraska. Now, I, he had the, the wherewithal to feed 1,500 people with ice cream. I don't know how many people he actually had. And I thought, well, you know, different strokes for different folks. I, I want something a little simpler. And I, I just looked at my 50 years, and, and my greatest memories are the parishes where I served. And so I thought, you know, what I'd like to do is celebrate a mass of thanksgiving uh, in each parish where I was pastor. And, uh, and I did just that, and I'm just completing the round. You are the cherry on the Sunday, okay? Uh, my first, uh, and I didn't necessarily go in order because I needed to respect calendars of different parishes and so forth, but the first parish where I celebrated uh, a mass of thanksgiving was at the cathedral. Now, I had spent eight months there as an assistant priest. I, I refer to it as my, my winter time of darkness, okay? <laughs> it wasn't one of my better experiences. And I grant, I was part of the problem. But, uh, but I was pastor there from 1995 until 2005, 10 years. And, and it, was a, it was a very maturing experience. It was... It was tough, the first five years especially, for all kinds of reasons. And the second five years, it, it's like things pulled together and I, I felt very good, very proud, very much at peace. And so the celebration was, was similar. It was refined, it was, it was a, a big church liturgy, uh, but it was a, a, a very simple reception afterwards. It was most appropriate. Then the next Sunday, I went to uh, St. Charles Barmeo, which is the parish that I founded. And it, I have to say, if people ask me, what was your favorite parish? I have to say, the one to which I gave birth. And uh, so St. Charles Barmeo was, is very dear to my heart, and they really did put on a big party. It was, it was great. Most of the people that founded the parish were there uh, for mass and for the, the dinner afterwards. Uh, no, it was great. Uh, it, uh, it, it, uh, I felt very happy and, and satisfied after that. The next morning, I was at St. Thomas More, and that's where I spent the last three years of my active priesthood. And even though uh, I was, uh, it was a very different parish, obviously a seasoned parish, and, and when I came, but when I came there, I felt there was a restlessness in the parish, like they wanted to do something. I didn't know how long I'd be there. I figured maybe five, six years. Uh, but they wanted to do something. Some wanted uh, to redo the, the whole recreation, the grounds. Uh, some wanted to, to do a, a renovation of the gym. Some wanted a new gym. Some wanted a parish council, uh, a, a parish center. And so in the end, it was decided, let's fix up what we have first. And, and now the church was going on well, gee, what was it, 40 years? And, and it was getting, a, uh, there, were, there, there were a few um, areas of concern. And so what we did is we basically took it down to the rafters, not the sanctuary, but the rest of the church, took it down to the rafters and, and redid the whole thing. And if you've been there, I think, I think it's turned out beautifully. It's a beautiful church. And the people are very proud of their, their church. Always have been, but especially now. So then, 
the next week, I was at St. Leo's in Snyder, Nebraska, which is my home parish. Now, it's a very small parish at this point, uh, but it was a special mass because not only were my family present, but there were parishioners, and there was one large family. The Krakemeyer family was there. The Krakemeyer family was there because mass was being offered for their daughter, who was killed in a farm accident just a few days before that, uh, a day before her graduation from high school. Uh, you know, so there was a real heaviness of heart for them. And, and then there was my 50th Jubilee. So how do you pull all that together? And I said, well, there's one common denominator. My grandmother was a Krakemeyer. So we're all in this together. A special feature was, my, was that my three aunts, 92, 96, and 98, were all there. And they had their wits and dressed to the teeth. And it might be the last time we bring those three together in that way. They're in good health and uh, their minds are there. Their hearing isn't so good, but uh, well, after 98 years, what do you expect? So that was, uh, that, was the, that weekend. The next weekend, uh, okay, there was a break for Father's Day. And, and then the next week I went to St. Francis and Humphrey. And uh, uh, Humphrey was, I, I really enjoyed my time at Humphrey. I probably worked harder there than any parish. Uh, but it was, it's a very German, very rural, very Catholic, and uh, they had been uh, shepherded by Franciscans for a hundred years. I was the first non-Franciscan, and boy, did the gossip rattle. Uh, you know, <laughs> you can't trust these diocesan priests, you know. Uh, so, great celebration there, and then, uh, and then Holy Cross. But, but why Holy Cross? Because I was not pastor here. Uh, but I did spend five years, as Father O'Donnell would say, five long years uh, here. And, uh, and it, was, it was a good time for me, not so much what I did, but what the Lord and what you did for me at that time. Um, so uh, yes, we can celebrate today, and God is to get, be given the credit. I think you need to be given some credit for accepting me in my, uh, uh, how shall we say, in my immaturity, in my selfishness, and in my failures. Uh, I always felt loved and supported by you. And uh, so you're a good example of how to support a, a priest who isn't perfect. Um, so today comes to this. Yes, my, I'm finished, finishing my tour. And uh, it's been a great experience to be able to, to reconnect with all these different parishes and people and memories. Uh, it, it's a great uh, way to celebrate 50 years, at least for me. Um, and again, I wanna thank you at Holy Cross for being such a support uh, in those five years when I, I was going through a lot of uh, growing pains at that point. And you helped me to be uh, a good pastor along with the, the Lord who had a lot of work to do. Now, let's look at the gospel. It, it's a, in some ways, it's a very simple gospel. You know, the sower goes out to sow the seed. And, and most of you, and I'll include myself, we do a little bit of gardening. And uh, so we know that uh, uh, you just don't throw seed on the ground to guarantee a hundredfold. Uh, you have weather to deal with. You have uh, soil to deal with. You have the care that you give to the plant, and, and that all makes a difference. And uh, so too with the, with, the, with the kingdom of God. The seed is the word of God, and uh, for some, it doesn't get a real good start. Maybe the, the faith wasn't really planted in their hearts and lives in the beginning, and so it, it doesn't have a good start. Or it may, may start to flourish and then something bad happens you know maybe relationship or disaster or or somehow they lose their their love for god and then even 
and you and I know of instances where, where people who are adult and established in their faith, all of a sudden, they, they, they lose their faith. And, uh, and, and that can be kind of sad, very sad. So uh, the question we might ask today is, uh, where do I stand? You know, am I, am I planted deeply? We've, we're, none of us are finished products. And so we continue need to need the Lord to, to make us strong and healthy so that we can produce a hundredfold. There was one sad experience that I had on my tour. Uh, my, uh, did I think I, did I tell you about Laurel and Dixon? I don't think I did. That was my first, uh, after, that was my first parish. Parishes, two parishes. And they were in, uh, 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 just a minute, I'm trying to think of the county. Anyway, they were two parishes and, and very different from each other. And St. Anne's had 33 families when I was there, and they still have 33 families. So I guess, I guess they're doing something right to survive. Uh, and we had a great celebration there, and they're very proud of their, their little church and their little parish. And then I went to St. Mary's. Now St. Mary's was always a little more laid back, and uh, uh, it was sometimes hard to, to get people going on things. But the sad part, is that as of July 1st, they will no longer have a Sunday Mass. Uh, and, and that is really hurting, hitting them hard. Um, you know, and I know there's a lot of scuttlebutt and, and grumbling and disgruntlement because of all the changes. and They took away my Mass time and uh, whatnot, okay? Well, you know, it could be worse. It could be a situation where you will no longer have a Sunday Mass. And I'm concerned about St. Mary's and Laurel because they're kind of like the plant that didn't have a real strong back, real strong backbone. They, they were kind of sickly plants in some ways. And I'm afraid that no mass on Sunday means that, that the parish may die, which is really sad. So I, I, urge, I want to thank you for your part in my priesthood. And I want to urge and encourage you to be uh, uh, supportive of your parish because uh, you know, things change, and some parishes found that out the hard way. So thank you, and, and let us give thanks to God for the good that he has done. And as I tell people, if you celebrate my 50th anniversary, it has a lot more to do about God than what I did. And I really mean that, and I really believe that. And I thank you. Thank you, and now let's stand and, and together pray our creed. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father, he will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. One holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We now bring to the Lord the needs and prayers of, of this community and of God's people throughout the world. For our bishops, priests, deacons, religious, and all the faithful, 
that we may respond joyfully and fully to the word that God has sown among us. We pray to the Lord. For farmers, producers, and distributors of food, and for relief agencies who are working in countries where there is insufficient food, that they may be blessed and rewarded for their efforts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those on the journey of faith, that we will continue to grow in relationship with Jesus so that we may be as close to him as we were on the day of our baptism. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those among us and our neighbors who are sick, especially those with mental health issues, people suffering from depression, loneliness, despair, and sorrow, may they be healed and comforted. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For the faithful departed, those who have died recently, especially Jane Zarecki, Bill Kennedy, and Tony Ulrich, and for those whose memories we recall with love, that they may rejoice with the saints and the angels, we pray to the Lord. I hear our prayer. And for Sam and Louise Monaco, and Dale and Joan Stump, for whom this Mass is being celebrated, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. O most high and glorious God, enlighten the darkness of our hearts. Give us a correct faith, certain hope, perfect charity, profound humility. Grant to us a real sense of discernment so that we might know your will and do it joyfully through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please join in singing number 515, Faith of Our Fathers, number 515. Thank you. Living still in spite of dungeon, fire, and sword. Oh, how our hearts beat high with joy. Thank you. Whenever we Thank you. hear that glorious Thank you. word, faith of our fathers. Holy faith, we will be true to Thee till death. Faith of our fathers, living still, to win all nations unto Thee. Faith of our 
senior. Okay, when you go to school. Same one, okay. But well, thank you very much. Okay. We will be true to thee till Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look upon the offerings of the Church, O Lord, as she makes her prayer to you, and grant that when consumed by those who believe, they may, they may bring ever greater holiness through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death, and by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim in song. Holy, holy, Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full, are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them, like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. When we eat, eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and, and George our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of Jesus be with each one of you. Let us offer to one another the sign of peace. Peace be to Tim. sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. The single host there is gluten. of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. 
Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. in the body of Christ. The blood of Christ. Our communion hymn is number 333, Seeds Scattered and Sown, number 333. The body of Christ, Ava, may the Lord bless you today and always. Olivia, the body of Christ. The body of Christ. Scattered and grown, bread broken and shared as one, the living bread okay. of God, fine fruit of the land, wine work of our hands. The body of Christ. By all the living cup, the living bread the of, body of God. Is not the, body of the bread we bring, the body of Christ. sharing in our the body of Lord. The body of Is not the cup we bless the, the blood. Body of Christ. The body of Christ. Scattered and so the body of Christ. We gathered the body of Christ. And bread broken and shared as one. The living the bread of God. The fine fruit the of, of the Christ. land. The body of Christ. The seed which falls on the rock will wither and will the die. The body of Christ. The seed within good ground will flower and have life. The body of Christ. Seed scattered the and sown. Wheat gathered the body and grown. The body of Christ. Broken and the body of Christ. As one, the, the body of Christ. The bread of God. The body of Christ. Fine fruit of the, the body of Christ. Land. Wine work of our yes. hands. Yes. Yeah. One cup that is shared by the body of Christ. All, the living cup. The living bread of God. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. As we eat upon the hills the was gathered and was grown. The body of Christ. So the body of Christ. May the church of the body of Christ. God be gathered the body of Christ. into one. The body of Christ. See Scattered and sown, the body of Christ. 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 The living bread of God. Fine fruit of the land. Wine the body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. By all, the, the body of Christ. Cup, the, the body of Christ. Of God.
the body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Please join me in our missional prayer. Who am I, Lord, that you should come to me? Blessed is your holy name. Open up your heart to accept you into my life. Take me as I give myself to you, and let me know you, love you, serve you. Open my ears to your holy word so I can follow your teachings. Clear up my eyes drive away the distractions of the world that prevent me from seeing you everywhere. Let me know your holy presence in the Eucharist that is given to me to be Christ to others. May your son, Jesus Christ, be my Lord and Savior. Send me out to proclaim the gospel with joy, humility, and thanksgiving. Amen. Let us stand and pray. <clears throat> Having consumed these gifts, we pray, O Lord, that by our participation in this mystery, its saving effects upon us may grow. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. This last week, I, I met a woman who was not from this parish but she went here a Sunday or two ago and someone asked her her name and welcomed her to the parish. Now this woman's been around for a while. She had never had this happen before in a Catholic church. You never know how much a little gesture might take you. Let us bow our heads in prayer and ask for God's blessing. May the Lord bless and keep you this day and this week. May the Lord let his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May you be God's seed, and may you bring forth 30 or 60 or 100 fold. May his blessing and peace be with you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. We will close with number 739. Lead me, Lord, number 739. <clears throat> Blessed are the poor, poor in spirit, spirit, longing for their Lord. Lord. For Lord. God's coming Lord. kingdom Lord. Shall, shall be theirs. Be Blessed are the sorrowing, for they shall be consoled. And the meek shall come to rule the world. 
Lead me, Lord, lead me, Lord, by the light of truth, to seek and to find the narrow way. Be my way, be my truth, be my life, my Lord, and lead me, Lord, today. Blessed are the merciful, for mercy shall be theirs, and the pure in heart shall see their God. Blessed are they whose hunger only holiness can again. fill. For I say they shall be satisfied. 